Hey, what's up you guys, it's Spartan, and today I'm going to be showing you guys one of the most insane mods I have ever seen in Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So this mod is called Trial of the Seven Kingdoms. It's based off the Game of Thrones universe, and it's just absolutely insane. It is a complete remap and rehaul of all of Calradia. So everything is completely changed. They add tons of new locations like King's Landing and uh, the North, and then you have Lannisport over here. And every single major city, castle, and village in the Game of Thrones universe. One of the coolest features of this mod is that you can actually join any faction you want. So you can just run over to any army you can see on the map, talk to the army leader, say I would like to join your ranks, and you can become a Stark soldier, like Soldier of the North, you can fight for the North, or you can become a Baratheon, a Lannister, Westerlands, anything you want. And this is absolutely insane. You even get the armor to match and you can like slowly level your way up through their ranks. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all the different troops they added. And we're going to do like a giant free for all between the northern factions and the westerlands. So we got Robert Baratheon, Daenerys Targaryen, and Jon Snow versus Gregor Killeen and the Lannisters. So Cersei and Tywin Lannister. So it's going to be absolutely insane. And we have all the different troops that we can get from their faction, like the best of the best, and from both sides. And we're going to be doing 500 versus 500 in this map to show off how beautiful they are. I also wanted to mention we're versing a small P faction. <laughs> so Gregor Kalein, the giant mountain dude, uh, his symbol is a small P. All right, so let's show off some of the best units and some of my favorite units from this mod. So the first up, we have the Unsullied Bloodborne right here, holding a nice spear wall led by Jon Snow himself, which honestly, it's really, really cool to see that every single lord in this game, like every single major lord in the Game of Thrones universe has been completely customized to look like that lord, which is absolutely insane amount of work for three people. And then one of my favorite units in this game, and honestly, one of the best performing is the Baratheon Fury Stags over here. So they have giant um, Romphila-like weapons, and they run in and completely knock out anything in the game. So honestly, these are one of my most favorite units from all the Game of Thrones universe, That which is why I put them on my team. And uh, let's go ahead to the worst units in this game and show showcase some of the Lannisters. All right, here we go. Here's the Westerlands right here. And look, look how big the mountain is, man. Look at this monster of a man. That's just insane. I'm, I'm so happy they made him this big. But okay, let's show off the evil forces over here, or also known as the Westerlands and the uh, Lannisters. So, uh, first off, this is the Mountain. He's just an absolute beast of a man, and he's just absolutely awesome looking. But uh, let's go around and check out our soldiers. So first off, we got the King's Guard Elite. So the Elite King's Guard over here with their golden armor and their golden capes. Which, honestly... I really, really wish they were like on the good side because these guys are absolutely beautiful. And we also got the pure noble kings guard, which in uh, complete white armor. So they're really nice to see. And then one of my favorite units and one of the best units in this entire game, we got the Westerlands Banner Knights, as well as the Lannister Mounted Lions. So honestly, the Mountain Lions look a lot cooler. And these guys are really, really powerful, really good shock troops right here. These guys are going to be doing a lot of work right at the start. Alright, so here we go. That looks pretty good to me. Um, I will be charging in my cav as soon as they start char charging in theirs. Oh, look at that. Someone just got shot in the head. Okay, hey, wait. Here, let's watch their leaders. <laughs> their noble troops are getting shot from behind, too. Oh, man, that's pretty nice. Looks like their lords, uh, the Lannisters, are charging straight ahead. Oh, there goes Cersei. Oh, man. They're so stupid, man. All right, it looks so. It looks pretty good for right now. Uh, I'm gonna get these guys back a little bit more. All right, my cab is gonna charge in now to kind of distract them, and then these guys might as well get to the side because uh, their cab will most likely charge into these guys. Man, it looks pretty good so far. Oh shoot, <laughs> charge! All right, here we go. Oh, shoot. All right, I'm hoping my archers... My archers should be the one that does a lot of work in this fight. I'm going to help out with the square formation over here. Trying to hold back the uh, Lannisters. Oh, man, it looks so nice. It's it's complete chaos, though. 
Here, I'm gonna get back from a bird's eye view. It's kind of actually nice to watch. All right. Oh, they're picking off. Uh, the knights are picking off my uh, rangers right there. It looks like my square formation is holding pretty nicely. Uh, their horses are getting stuck right in the middle. I might take control of one of these archers, honestly, because they're kind of fun. Yeah, go ahead and take control of one of these guys. Right, here we go. Try to shoot some of their uh, knights down. <laughs> their knights are getting surrounded, man. Alright, go back out. Look at that, man. The wall. Oh, the archers are running away from my wall of warriors here. Won't help them. Make sure everyone's in line formation now. We don't need a square formation. Oh my god, there's so many dead bodies here. <laughs> and cloaks glitching around, too. And we got reinforcements, too. That means they got reinforcements. Still got about half their army left, though. But it looks like it's looking like a slaughter so far. Oh, one of my horses went down. Poor boys. I'll, I'll just uh, run down the retreating archers real quick, too. Because that's... Honestly, their archers are what does a lot of work to me. They kill a lot of my men. Their horses and their archers. Alright, it's looking pretty nice. Oh, there's one last guy. Come on, I gotta catch him. No! Oh, I wish I could throw it. I, I tried to honestly throw it. Oops. <laughs> I tried to throw it like it was a uh, chivalry too. Oh my god, my cab is so good, man. Just picking off people left and right. I love this cab. All right, there we go, boys. We have defeated the Lannisters once and for all with our northern factions and our Baratheons and Targaryens combined. And it was this complete massacre on their part. I mean, their bodies are just littered throughout their sand. Let's go ahead and check out uh, the kill feed and, like, the battle results. All right, so it looks like the best of their soldiers were the King's Guard and the Western Lions. So that's really interesting to see, and their House Guards. So their Rangers actually didn't do that good since uh, we had such a good strategy in the beginning with that square formation. They couldn't do anything with their archers. And let's see who was the best on our side. So it looks like the Baratheon Fury Stags did the best. So basically their, um, basically our shock infantry of the pole arms did the best. Second place was the Mounted Stags. And then third place was the Wolven Kingsguard. So that's really cool to see. So basically our best unit was the Baratheons. Because the Baratheons are just completely overpowered. But yeah, overall we got 458 kills. And we lost 116 soldiers. So we lost next to nothing. And if you guys are interested in trying out this mod for yourselves. I'll put a link down in the description for you guys. And I will warn you, it's a huge mod. It takes up like 30 gigabytes. So definitely be prepared for a long download. But I highly recommend you guys try this for yourselves. And also, put down in the comments what kind of uh, custom battle you would like to see. If you want to see like Spartans versus the Thraki hordes or something like that, I could easily do that. Or if you want to see the best infantry of all Game of Thrones, I could definitely do a video on that, like a little tournament. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little quick mod showcase, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Spartans.